What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. In this video we will be taking a look at working android 12 for oneplus 7 series. Basically this is an gsi image which has been ported by one of the developer named kiran. You must have seen lots of gsi based on android 12 but in that most of them are not working or fully functional. But here on this build we have fixed almost all the issues once again huge thanks to developer Kiran for helping me out to fix major things like mobile network and full screen gestures. And to fix all these things it took us lots of time. We almost spent more than 12 hours on fixing mobile network and other stuff in which we had to change lots of files and also few additions were done to build prop. So spending that much of time was worth it. But still there are few minor bugs to be seen. I'll try to do a fresh installation and if I'm able to fix all these issues, I'll get an installation guide on the same. Because currently if you only flash GSI image of Android 12, you'll have to do a lot of things to fix basic requirements on your device. Now let's take a look at this Android 12 GSI which I have flashed on my OnePlus 7 Pro. And we'll show you what all Android 12 features are working and what all features are not working. So as you can see here I have my OnePlus 7 Pro. First let's talk about the software information. And here you can see my device is running Android 12 with a security patch of 5th May 2021. As you all know that we are going to see lots of UI changes in the upcoming Android 12 for Pixel devices. And let's see if other manufacturers or OEMs adapts to such changes or not. First of all, one of the major UI change you're gonna see in quick setting panel, where you'll get to see this huge quick setting tiles for every settings. And right now, if you flash the latest GSI, you might not get to see this quick setting tiles by default. For that, you need to enable this feature, which is called system UI GX. Once you enable this, you'll be able to see the new quick setting tiles. And along with that, thick bar of brightness slider on the top. And the same thing goes with this volume slider where you get to see this thick volume slider and along with that and you'll also get to see this new pop-up to switch between different ringing modes. Though I've been using this build as my daily driver on my OnePlus 7 Pro. Initially after flashing the build we had lots of issues in getting mobile network along with making Volti work but huge thanks to Kiran for helping me out and fixing this issue. Now you get to see even Wi-Fi calling feature on this build and Wi-Fi calling feature works great as said I've been testing this build from yesterday. With layer 2 calls, I don't see any kind of issues. I also tried out few Google camera applications in which rear camera works fine. But when you switch to front camera on my OnePlus 7 Pro, which has this pop-up camera mechanism, that doesn't pop up. So I think users with other devices of OnePlus 7 series, which doesn't have pop-up camera, might be able to get this working on their devices. So you can try out different Google camera applications from OnePlus 7 series Google camera forum. Currently, I've been experiencing few random reboots and which completely mess up with my mobile data. So currently, if someone wants to install Android 12 GSI images, I won't recommend you guys. Though if you can wait for few days, I'll come up with an installation guide. I'll include all the bug fixes. And if it can be used as daily driver, then for sure I'll upload a video on the same. Right now I won't recommend any of the OnePlus 7 series users to install Android 12 GSI. Because there are lots of things to be done right now. I'll be trying out new GSI using vendor of AOSP ROMs. You might get to see a video on Android 12 which can be used as daily driver. So stay tuned for that. First talking about this new dark mode on Android 12. So if you are assuming it's completely pitch dark theme, then you are wrong. On Android 12, we don't get that pitch dark theme. We get to see that grayish background when we enable dark theme. And that goes for the notification panel, settings panel, and even in the app drawer. And this is not the final build of Android 12. So we might get to see more changes in upcoming updates. On Oxygen OS 12 also, instead of that pitch dark, we get to see that grayish background in the dark mode. On a previous video, I have shown few new widgets, which we're gonna see on Android 12. And here on this particular build, you can see widget section has been categorized pretty well. Tapping on drop down of particular apps, you'll get to see the widgets based on those applications. We have this new conversation widget, which you can add it on your home screens. And you also get the ability to resize the widget. Another change you'll notice in the settings panel. On Android 11, we had this category of every settings. And under every setting, we also used to see what all sub settings available under that. But that's not the case on Android 12. On this latest build, we don't get to see any category. And we also don't get to see the sub setting under every settings. And according to me, that's fine because I'm mostly an Android user. 
and i'm aware about what all settings can be found under network or internet and other stuff talking about network and internet here i did not find any kind of issues related to the wi-fi band both the bands are working fine which is 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz though i'm facing issues with the bluetooth devices i tried both my bluetooth buds and none of them worked out and this might be an issue with the vendor so let's see if we are able to fix this issue Another new addition what we're gonna see on Android 12 is 100 mode which is available on the first beta of Android 12 but currently I'm not able to use this feature on this particular GSI but it has been working fine on Pixel devices running Android 12 beta 1. I also tried to order Google Pixel 4a but due to some issues with the Flipkart they couldn't deliver me the product or else I would have started new series based on Android 12 updates. There are a few minor changes also done with screenshot. So once you capture the screenshot, you can just swipe it towards the right side or the left side to dismiss the same. And you can directly get the option to share or edit the screenshot. Now picture in picture mode can be easily zoomed in and zoomed out. And another addition to this picture in picture mode is related to this swiping towards the right hand side. So you can hide the picture in picture mode if you are doing some work which requires the entire screen. And again, if you are done with that, you can just pull it back. So quite a handy feature for those who does multitasking on their devices. So guys, these were few additions which have been done to the Android 12. I'll try to cover almost everything when I get my Pixel device. But right now, just to give you an overview, I think these features are more than enough. Now let me show you what all issues I've been facing on this current build of Android 12. On my OnePlus 7 Pro, front camera doesn't pop up using Google camera application. I have tried out multiple Google camera applications, but none of them worked. And next issue is related to system crash due to which device loses the mobile data and that's not a bug on android 12 it's happening because we have done few changes in the build prop that's why i'm saying it's not the right time to flash android 12 gsi on oneplus 7 series do not worry guys i'll come up with an easy installation guide and which will help you use android 12 gsi as a daily driver after that i'm also not able to use my bluetooth devices the last issue what I have been facing is related to video playback. Video keeps stopping after every 2 to 3 seconds. I also tried out updating all the applications from Google Play Store. Even after updating them, I am facing an issue with video playback. So guys, these were the few new features and the bugs what I have been facing after flashing Android 12 GSI on my OnePlus 7 Pro. But if you are able to fix those issues, I'll do an installation guide and a complete review on Android 12 GSI. So now talking about whether you need to flash the GSI on your OnePlus 7 series. Currently, I won't advise you guys to do the same. And if you are already aware about on how to flash GSIs on OnePlus devices, then you can also give it a try using AOSP vendor. Even I'll do the same and hopefully with the help of that, we could fix a lot of bugs. So guys, right now only this much in this video. If you still have any kind of questions related to Android 12 GSI, then let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.